Here is Noah's above water brush stroke. Get them off uh, the blocks. Looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a uh, cross in those feet. So we're going to make sure that you really work on pushing off and keeping those legs, uh, calves and quads all nice and tight. A little late on that breakout. Just get going a little bit sooner. Um, as we see you kind of going through, getting good height on that stroke. Um, but the one thing you're doing is you're lifting your head up and then you're dropping it down. We're going to want to make sure that you do keep those eyes focused on the bottom of the pool. That squeeze right underneath you is going to be what really pops you up and you don't need to lift that head up. As we go through the turn, you're going to want to make sure that you really end up driving those knees directly underneath you so that you can actually rotate your body into almost a backwards flip turn. That will end up helping uh, move in the least amount of space. As you're driving those knees up underneath you, that's going to be what flips you from your feet being on the one side of you to the side on the wall. Uh, as you rotate those knees underneath you, make sure that you're taking your head and you're going to go straight back out. So you're going to end up going straight in, straight back out that same line. Uh, just before your feet do hit the wall, make sure you're putting more and more pressure on your left shoulder since that's the hand you're pulling off the wall first. That'll help actually get your feet pulling up and planted on the wall at an angle. So when you push off, you'll end up pushing off on your side. Once you've gotten off the wall, you'll be able to rotate then onto your stomach. As we see you come off the wall, I am not seeing a pull, I'm not seeing a kick. All I see is you're wanting to get up and swim on the surface. Always, always, always get that underwater pull and that underwater kick in. That's one of those things that's going to make it a lot stronger breaststroke, and you can't afford to not get those pullouts in. As we see you coming in for the finish here, having to glide real, real long uh, going into it, make sure when you're out past the flags here, that you're going to be able to either stretch out a stroke or two, uh, make one a little bit shorter or two a little bit shorter so that your uh, last stroke is going to be full surge going forward and you're not decelerating going into that very last stroke. Nice job, Noah. Here is Noah's breaststroke. See him coming in. He's coming down at a pretty steep angle. We want to make sure as soon as those hands get in, shoot those hands straight forward so we don't go down nearly as deep. Waiting real well on that pull, but then you're having to come up real, real high because of the depth that you're at. And you sneak a quick little peek towards the surface. Make sure to keep those eyes focused on the bottom of the pool. Keep you best streamlined. As we're going through, love the rhythm of what we have. Um, as we see that kick, you are leading out with those knees. You want to think about starting that kick by pulling those heels up towards your rear end and then being able to get those feet out and around from there. So try and keep those knees in. Remember Rebecca Sony's suggestion of keeping your knees at about hip width apart. Uh, as we go in for the turn, really make sure you're remembering to drive those knees up underneath you so that you're doing almost that reverse flip, uh, flip turn. Always, always, always get that underwater pull and get that underwater kick. You're going to be able to generate a lot of power and maintain that speed by doing that. When you're getting up on the surface and swimming right away, it does tend to wear you out much faster. As we see you kind of going by here, we do get in for that last stroke. A little bit long on that glide. I'd like to see you try and judge that turn and judge that finish out past this flag so that you can either glide just a little bit longer on that stroke that way, this stroke is at full strength. So it's just a little long on the glide, but not too bad. So just make sure you're uh, judging that turn, judging that finish out by the flags. And then also make sure to keep those knees a little bit closer together so we can generate more power on that kick. Nice job, Noah.